All right, guys, here's an Oki Pacemark 3410. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace these rear tractor feed tires. The left side is bad, but I like to change them out as a pair, and you should change it out, change it out as, as a pair. Um, part numbers are right here. Tractor push right, 5005-4601, and 4501 for the left. And this is for the right. So we're going to take this apart and replace the tractor rear tractor feed um, tires. First off, I'm going to remove the platen knob, take off the uh, top cover, and then the, the top guide slips right off and out. And then let's take off the ribbon. The ribbon comes off straight up and out okay um, this whole top cover comes off um, the way we do that for the top cover there's screws behind these stickers Right there, one screw, two screw. Once the screws are off, back side comes off first, cover comes off. All right, there are four screws, one right here. That mounts down here, where's the other one? Move this out of the way. Yeah, there's actually no screw on this side. There's just one on the right front and then two on the left. So one right here. And then it comes off with the uh, bracket, the holding bracket. And there's one more at the rear right behind the belt. And then the uh, control panel comes off. Well, actually the panel with the um, actual bracket comes off together so I'm gonna unplug the panel with this ribbon cable and there's one screw here one screw here and then one screw here One screw on the side here. And then let me grab this one holder. Put it down. And one screw right here. All right. And then this panel comes up. And one connector and two, two connectors here. Connector and two connectors there. So two connectors. This whole panel board comes off. All right. So then next is these one, two, and three screws. Now that that's all loose, I'm going to unplug this connectors here 
because this whole section will come up and off. All right, I think we're ready for lift off. Let's get all those screws off. This. One connector here. Quite yet, so we're gonna remove these connectors here because they are attached to the to the board and to the the, the actual carriage unit. So this comes off. Let me see. Let's see if I try to lift this up. Get it on the connectors. Oh, one more connector here. That's it. I think that's it. And then I think this one. Is it this one? Try without it. On the side. Alright, so we got the whole carriage unit out of its frame. Now we're going to focus on these gears. These shafts will pull out, but before we do that, we want to remove these gears. Here's an important thing. When we turn these gears together, yours should be marked with a white mark on that tooth of the gear, and it goes in between these two teeth of that big gear it's important because if these are not lined up the tractor tires will not be lined up here and when we slide these tractor tra tires on there's also white marks here and a white mark right here they got to be on the same side of this shaft that white mark there let me turn on my light There's a white mark there, and uh, a white mark right there. So that two white marks need to be on the same side of this square shaft, so that the um, the tractor feed knobbies will be aligned properly when you're feeding originals. Otherwise, you get crinkling, rear feed, and jamming. All right, so we're gonna remove the big gear. So I basically split these latches apart and pull the gear out. Split the latch apart. It doesn't take much, don't break it. It pulls right out. And these shafts will go these shafts will go out that way towards the opposite end so if I push this it'll go over to the other end of the of the printer and on this side I'm gonna take up the belt so I just pull the belt while I'm pulling it it's coming off of its motor and put the belt on the side See, this is the shaft that's on its way out. You can see it's pulling all the way through. So I'm gonna pull this shaft all the way out. Put that on the side. 
the other shaft is behind this um, the line feed motor. So I'm going to unplug this line feed motor here. And one, two screws that hold that line feed motor. comes off. That was that gear. Okay, and there's the other shaft here. So if I push on it, you can see the shaft comes out. And I can pull this shaft completely out. You'll notice that that middle guide will drop. It should drop. There we go. So two square shafts out. And this hook, when we're putting it back, it needs to go underneath this bar. So we'll take it out for now. And there's one more round shaft that is in this groove here. So the way I take that out is I just loosen this one screw here. I don't think we need to take it completely off. I just loosen just a little bit. Yep, right here. So I loosen it just enough to where I can't see the side of the screw. Just, just about that much. And then I can kind of push this away so that this shaft can come out of it, come out of its groove. Just like that. You see that? It came out of the um, the slot. Once that is loose, then this side can come out, and this whole section will be able to pull out after we loosen up this. Um, there's a wire harness that needs to be removed. basically squeezing the two ends of the wire harness holder so it makes it through the hole now the harness is loose and then this tractor feed assembly can come out as a hole now we'll put this on the flat surface the floor and then we will replace both tractor feed sections here. the rear tractor feed assembly back in.
this side up above the uh, frame and I'm going to put this side into the slot. This left side tractor will go in between these two metal tabs. So you might have to loosen up this locking locking lever so you can move this back and forth. So I put it in the slot here and then I line up this side. So it was up like this push it over with my knuckle and push it in and now I can tighten this screw. Alright, nice and snug. Alright, now next would be the, the shafts but before I put the shafts in I'd like to line up the white the white um, marks on the tractor gear assembly itself. The white mark is here, right here. So it's facing this way. There's the white mark here. And then the other white mark on this one, if I turn it, turn it to this way, and I can see the white mark right there. So when I feed in the shaft, Get this guy in first. And then this goes underneath. Alright, so this one, make sure that the lip is behind the, um, this lip is behind the bar and then you slide it over on top of the middle. So this is where the paper is going to feed through in between these two black guys. Alright, now we're ready for the square shaft. I'm going to put it into the first slot, the first bushing. Then it'll go through the left side tractor wheel. Um, there we go. So I want to make sure that the white, the white um, mark is up facing towards me. And then it is. It's facing towards me and then through the middle. There we go. This is where I want to make sure that this white mark is facing me and the white mark on this tractor wheel is facing me as well. I want it to be on the same side of that square shaft. 
There we go. And then all the way to, to the bushing. And there goes the bushing. And I double check again. White mark there across the shaft and white mark there. So good deal. Move this middle guy over. For the second square shaft, I'm going to go in to the left tractor gear assembly. for the white mark on this guy. There it is. And then we're gonna go through the middle guide. And then we're gonna go to the right tractor wheel. I wanna make sure that the white mark is on this. So I'm gonna move the gear until I can see the white mark on the same side of the um, oh, there it is so I move it back I want it on the same side as the um, left tractor assembly and we're going to put that in here alright and through the pushing So we can do a quick check. So if we turn the tractor, if I turn the square shaft, I can see that the tractor feed is moving. And I can see that when it hits this, this knob will make that turn. I wanna make sure that the knob on the other one is about the same position. Cause if it's the knobs are not in the same position, it will cause problems. That's the importance of that white mark on the tractor feed assemblies when replacing these out. Yep. Alright, next is the line feed motor. All right, two screws, connector, and we can put the belt on. There we go. Okay. 
Okay. Now for the gears on this side and we want to make sure that the white so I'm looking at that my the left gear assembly I can see the white mark I want to make sure that it, this white mark is on the same side as the um, this one as the tractor feed so This one. Making sure that the white piece will meet up with this one. There we go. match up there we go and this white one this white square shaft will match up with that white mark on the shaft So when I'm placing it down in the frame, these rubber grommets will go right around the base of the frame and making sure we're not pinching any wires. Then we reconnect the connectors.
supposed to be another cord. There it is. So this cord will run this way. Here again, I'm making sure that I don't pinch any wires. It seems like this blue wire is is caught under the frame. We don't want that. There we go. So I tug on this and make sure it's loose on the other end. No, no pinching wires today, at least. Control panel. There it is. Time for the screws. For the um, for the holders,
two more connectors here. Before I put on the top cover, I like to just double check the, um, the platen roll here. And I want to watch the feed of the um, tractor, the rear feed tractor assemblies, just making sure that it it's smooth, there's no grind ups or hang ups. This belt looks crooked, but it feels good, it feels smooth. And I think I'm ready for the um, cover. Let's turn this on. Let's see what it does. All right, that's a good sign. So do a test page, turn the machine off, hold down line feed. While holding down line feed, turn on the power switch. Keep holding down line feed, and then we'll do a test print. Making sure that these does not wrinkle in this area here. You'll start to see a backup or a wrinkle. These tractor feed tires are not aligned. Those white dots are very important on the, um, on the tractor feed itself. Alright, that looks good.
pace mark, OSHA data, 3410, rear tractor feed assemblies, left and right. Thanks for watching.